And now at noon, a man behind bars after police say he made a deadly decision. Seven's Olivia DaVinci is live in Florida City with the details. Olivia. Lorena, police identifying the victim in this case as 44-year-old Yesenia Rodriguez Marquez. The man accused of taking her life now facing a second-degree murder charge. We have learned the two were in a romantic relationship, and at some point over the weekend, it took a deadly turn. A man accused of going on a disturbing and deadly drive, waking up behind bars. We had a uh, young woman who's got shot, and uh, police is also investigating. We had already apprehended the suspect. 48 year old Alexander Roque, charged with second degree murder after investigators say he shot and killed his girlfriend inside his car while driving around Florida City. According to the arrest report, it happened just before 11:30 Saturday night. After pulling the trigger, he eventually pulled up to the Florida City Police Station to surrender. A witness revealed as the victim's estranged husband, telling police he received a call from Roque, who admitted he shot and killed the woman, then sending a photo of her lifeless body covered in blood, and even video calling him via WhatsApp. The arrest report goes on to state Roque called his cousin and told him what happened. His cousin calling 911 and telling him to surrender. Earlier in the week, surveillance video capturing Roque knocking on his neighbor's door, telling Seven News off camera, Roque told her he would be playing loud music at night. Now neighbors in this quiet neighborhood in complete shock. He's bad. Very bad. So you are looking at Roque's house right now and neighbors pointed out a few things to me that they said were strange. You can see four locks on the front door instead of two. The only door on the street with four locks. He also has black tinted windows and a shutter. They told me that's another thing they felt was very, very strange. So we do believe Roque is set to go before a judge early sometime this afternoon. But as of now, a motive in this case remains unclear. We'll keep an eye on it. For now, we are live in Southwest Miami-Dade. Olivia DeVenti, 7 News.